Welcome. In this walkthrough we'll build a no-nonsense facial emotion detector from the ground up. You'll see every step, loading the classic FER 2013 dataset, turning raw image bytes into clean 48 by 48 grayscale matrices, hardening the data with on-the-fly augmentation, and training a compact CNN that spits out seven basic emotions. No mysticism, no black box hand-waving, just the proven workflow engineers have relied on for a decade. By the end of the run-through you'll know exactly how the model learns, where it stumbles, and what it takes to push those extra percentage points of accuracy. In this initial step, we load the FER 2013 facial expression dataset directly from the Hugging Face Hub using the dataset's library. This dataset contains 28,709 training images and 7,178 test images of faces, each labeled with one of seven basic emotions, angry, disgust, fear, happy, sad, surprise, and neutral. By avoiding Kaggle login requirements, Hugging Face allows smooth, code-based access in environments like Google Collab. Each image is stored as raw byte data, which we later decode and transform into a machine-readable format. Before training, we must pre-process the raw image bytes. This custom function reads each image, decodes it using PAL, converts it to grayscale, resizes it to 48 by 48 pixels, and normalizes pixel values between 0 and 1. Simultaneously, the emotion labels are one-hot encoded into vectors. This step is essential, it converts complex binary image data into numerical matrices that a neural network can understand and learn from. It also guarantees uniformity in input shape and structure, which is mandatory for CNN models. With the pre-processing function defined, we apply it to the entire dataset, processing both training and test sets into structured number PY arrays. Here, we verify the shapes to ensure proper alignment between input images and output labels. At this point, we now have 28,709 clean training samples and 7,178 samples set aside for validation. This clear separation helps evaluate the model's ability to generalize to unseen data, which is the cornerstone of machine learning success. Data augmentation plays a crucial role in enhancing model generalization. Here, we use TensorFlow's Image Data Generator to artificially expand the dataset by rotating, shifting, and flipping the input images. These controlled distortions simulate real-world variability in facial orientations and lighting. Feeding augmented images into the network reduces the risk of overfitting and prepares the model for real-world unpredictability, where no two expressions ever look identical. This is the core of the project a convolutional neural network tailored for facial emotion recognition. We stack three convolutional layers to progressively extract visual features, each followed by batch normalization, pooling, and dropout to improve stability and prevent overfitting. The dense layers interpret these learned features, and the final softmax output classifies each input into one of seven emotion categories. This architecture is compact but powerful, balancing learning capacity with efficiency, ideal for grayscale image tasks. We now begin the model training process using the augmented training set. For 30 full passes or epochs, the model adjusts its internal parameters to minimize prediction errors. Every step updates the model's weights via backpropagation. As it sees thousands of examples of smiling, frowning, and surprised faces, the network learns to map patterns in facial geometry to specific emotions. This phase is compute-intensive and requires careful monitoring to ensure convergence and avoid overfitting. After training, we visualize the model's learning behavior using accuracy and loss curves. The left plot shows how training and validation accuracy evolve over epochs, while the right shows the corresponding loss. Ideally, we want both training and validation accuracy to rise steadily, with minimal divergence between them. Large gaps would indicate overfitting, whereas parallel growth curves suggest a healthy model. These graphs are crucial for diagnosing learning issues and adjusting hyperparameters accordingly. 
This cell demonstrates the model's ability to make predictions on unseen validation data. By randomly selecting five samples and printing both the actual and predicted labels, we can quickly gauge performance. While most predictions are accurate, such as happy happy and neutral neutral, we also observe misclassifications like angry sad, indicating areas where emotions may overlap or where facial cues are ambiguous. This preview sets the stage for visual validation. Here we see five real outputs from our trained model. The first and last faces are correctly classified as sad and happy, proving the model's strength in clear expressions. However, we also spot limitations, such as the second face labeled happy, but predicted as fear, and the third where surprise is mistaken for sad. These missteps are understandable given the grayscale resolution and expression ambiguity. Yet, they reveal a critical insight, emotion detection is not binary. It's nuanced and sometimes subjective, even for humans. The terminal output also gives us execution speed and computational efficiency, each inference takes about 31 milliseconds. With consistent steps and minimal lag, the model demonstrates not only accuracy but also performance suitability for real-time applications. Combined with a reliable GPU setup, this model can serve in educational tools, emotion-aware interfaces, and AI companions with emotional intelligence. Cases like Angry Angry or Happy Happy reinforce that the model has successfully internalized critical features like mouth curvature and eyebrow angle. These results confirm that the CNN can differentiate between emotion classes that have distinct facial signals. These samples serve as proof of concept for deploying facial emotion classifiers in low-power or embedded devices. The presence of a few wrong predictions is not a failure but a reflection of the model's learning limits. When surprise becomes sad, it reminds us that expressions are fluid and context-sensitive. Improving this accuracy may require better lighting, more diverse training data, or additional cues like temporal facial motion. Nonetheless, the model shows strong promise and can be incrementally improved with advanced techniques like transfer learning or attention mechanisms. And that's the whole pipeline, start to finish. We loaded, cleaned, trained, and tested in under a hundred lines of code, landing solid accuracy while spotting the honest weak points, low-resolution faces and overlapping expressions. The project is fully portable, drop it into any collab, Raspberry Pi, or Edge box and it will work the same. If you need tighter performance, swap in a pre-trained backbone or feed the network higher quality images, the framework is already in place. Until then, you've got a straight shooting baseline model that actually works, no sugarcoat, just results.